okay welcome back everybody to a new video so you could see from the title and from the uh, thumbnail that it's a chanel unboxing today and finally the big day has come the big day i mean the bag the one i have dreamed of and i have delayed for so long and you know the one i have hesitated over for so long and finally i made the step and i bought it and you know the worst part i'll tell you why how i bought it and at which price and everything you will know in uh, a later stage in this video but we'll start with a small box and then we'll go into the big one so so recently I have gone to the Chanel store in Doha, Qatar. There is only one Chanel store. And if uh, you're used to buy stuff from Chanel, you know, it depends on your luck. If you find what you want or if you don't find it, you then take whatever they have, if you like it, of course. But it's very hard to find something you really want, let let's say you wanted a lambskin espadrille which is the beige and uh, black it's always out of stock because it's very high demand or you wanted a specific color in the shoes it's most likely you will not find it if you go later like uh, if the salesperson sends you a picture of what they have and they have the item then you have to buy it immediately once they send you uh, the items they have otherwise it wouldn't last and you wouldn't find it however we'll start with a small box this is my second pair from the same uh, type of shoes and I love them very much these they go with everything almost everything you wear and they're very mm, they're comfortable very it's a lot to be said but they're comfortable so what I get is the I think this is how to care for the shoes yeah yeah exactly very nice so you get this in the beginning and you get the shoe bag as always two pairs for two for each and my god no one thing before I open I'm sorry but you have to know this uh, size is 41 you know usually when I buy shoes from normal stores non branded ones I wear between 38 and 39 39 if the shoe is very uh, tight or it's very narrow but usually 38 would go uh, would be okay but you know in uh, uh, luxury brands like Gucci Chanel uh, Dior and all it's weird but I wear from 40 to 41 I can't believe it like 40 41 is a big and white uh, foot but I don't know it just fits me and less than that it's too small for me so I don't know how they do their sizes but that's how it is so the shoe is as always is the espadrilles in this gray green color they're very nice in the feet look at this these are like you know they're not leather they're like fabric material they're like I don't know how to describe it you can see it and they really fit really well they fit exactly the size of my feet and they're very nice you know okay you think like somebody told me you're wearing Chanel it shouldn't look simple or you know uh, discreet it's a Chanel but still when I wear these at least on the side it, nobody would know but once you show like this it does look like Chanel but I love the color of it this color is very nice you can wear it with anything uh, you like with a dress with a full leather legging with jeans with shorts it's it's just you know so flexible and 
they are comfortable i have showed you on a previous video my uh, blue and white chanel espadrille which i bought from geneva and those lately like the last two weeks i have been wearing daily daily very much daily and they are comfortable i like i would spend the whole day walking in them they're nice comfortable the and the inside is like leather and sweat so this is nice when they make the leather in sole of course the sole is a rubber one and this is the CC Chanel so as I said this was size 41 I was looking for a different color which was I think it was also gray but it was a tweed but I couldn't find it they didn't have sizes anymore it was finished I love tweed in uh, Chanel espadrilles and ballerina shoes but I couldn't find them they also had the dark blue and red uh, ballerinas and again I couldn't find my size so I was not able to buy this was the espadrilles and I'm sure I'll wear these the entire summer the blue ones I love them so much and should I tell you the story first okay I'll tell you the story then I'll show you so okay you all know that uh, Chanel has increased the price of their handbags only the classic handbags not all of them and uh, in Doha the price of the jumbo now it's 27,000 riyals it means 6,700 euros I know it's very expensive and for some people it's you cannot justify buying a bag this expensive I know but for me uh, I was meant to buy this one last year and I kept on hesitating and I couldn't take it off my mind I was thinking about it all the time should I should I not should I should I not and it's not nice when you keep thinking about something uh, all the time like that so I said okay because also I have resigned and I took this you know resigning in the time in the difficult time like this it's not it's not an easy decision uh, I mean it is the right decision for me because I was meant to do it last year too but I still you know was uh, patient till this year and whatever COVID-19 happened and I said no it's time I need to move on I need to start something new so for now I'm gonna start a new adventure of my in my life and I hope it will be successful so uh, to gift myself as a result of the decision I had to buy the Chanel at least I would leave my last job with a nice souvenir a good thing which is the Chanel okay so I went meaning to buy the boy Chanel I'll put the picture of it in uh, in the screen it's uh, a dark blue a navy blue with a champagne gold wear I have a wallet the same as the bag So the bag I wanted is the Boy Chanel exactly like this one, like with a champagne uh, uh, gold, uh, champagne hardware and the dark blue navy with this pattern, exact this pattern. But I couldn't find it and I found this one which was initially my first choice but because I do not find it anywhere uh, wherever I go in any Chanel store whether in Doha or out of Doha so I lost hope and because uh, the Chanel boy was on the website of UAE and Qatar I thought I will find it but I found my dream bag which is better than the boy Chanel and also one thing I didn't know that the classic Chanel uh, it's bigger the inside is bigger than the boy Chanel I thought boy because uh, it has no double flap it would have more uh, more space inside but it's the opposite this one has more space so without further ado let's open the bag so did you guess the size or not yet how do i open this 
Okay, I don't know how to. Oh, wow. Okay. Hmm. I'll try and hold it like this so you can see. Okay. Slowly. So I need to remove this first. And <laughs> OMG, this is my first Chanel bag ever. Do you guess the size? Okay, wait before I show you the bag. There is a booklet here. Whoa, look at this. There is a booklet in a plastic. Okay, we'll see this later. Let's put this on the side. Okay, you must know. This is a jumbo size. So, <laughs> okay. And this is my first Chanel classic. It's in navy blue exactly like my wallet navy blue with the champagne hardware absolutely the one i wanted to buy it's so elegant and nice not only the bag of course but the color of the bag it's so nice i was so lucky you know the salesperson was looking at it and he's saying that's black and i'm saying no that's blue that's what i want please show me so if I didn't insist and I thought it's black, I wouldn't have bought it. Okay, look at this. My Chanel. Look at how nice this is. So this is the inside. The usual zipper. Okay, yeah, only here is open. Only this is open, this is not. And this is the flap behind pocket, and this is the double flap, and this is the inside. It's much more spacious than the boy Chanel, and it has one compartment, two compartments, and the authenticity cards. Wow. Okay. I can't believe I bought a Chanel. This is another compartment. It has, of course, here the Chanel and Paris logo. And also here it has the Chanel and Paris logo. It's all blue. And it has the pocket which is behind. Very nice. This is in caviar leather this is how the bag looks like so it's not as heavy as I thought it would be I don't know why but it's very light I mean it's not very light it's just light and it's very nice so of course I'm not gonna wear this every day I will take care of it as much as I can and one thing okay nice it's very light I mean yeah it is light like my uh, Lulu Saint Laurent kind of okay so I don't splurge usually in high-end brands or luxurious brands but this means to me it's I reach a level in my life where I can afford it or uh, I have succeeded till the point I can f afford a Chanel bag this means for me it's a step marker or a marker where I have reached and then where I need to go further so you know the more I go further in my life the more successful I get 
I should mark it with something uh, like this, something which will last me long, something expensive and of a good quality and which will remind me I do deserve this. I bought this from my own money, I made it myself and I do deserve it. And I'm a type of person who I don't wait for anybody to buy anything for me but I do it for myself and I do not honestly it is very expensive but I do not regret it a bit because uh, like I said this is how I see success maybe some people is different for them for me it is uh, this way so uh, I'm very happy that I bought it and I'm even happier that I got it in the color I wanted. It's like a night blue, almost black, but it's not black. It's very nice and unique. So I'm very happy and I'm going to wear it a lot and enjoy it a lot. And again, I'm looking forward to have more success in life so I can gift myself things like this and even better. The next one should be an Hermes Birkin. Let me see how many more years I need to get a Birkin. I'll keep you updated if I uh, still film vi uh, yeah, film videos and make YouTube videos, then you will know uh, when I'm getting my next bag. Usually, uh, most probably it will be an Hermes uh, Birkin or a Kelly. So Birkin is first, Kelly is next, because I like Birkin a lot. So this is about the Chanel unboxing. I hope you like it and I hope you find it again useful. Uh, the last time I have seen this, I have seen it in Geneva uh, uh, store, yeah, Chanel store. They had the blue one in boy and in the classic. They had also a lot of other colors like orange, the purple, they had nice colors. But uh, Zurich, no, they have very limited, I think. I couldn't see it, but you never know. Uh, other places, I'm not sure. In Doha, this was the only one I found blue. They didn't have another piece. This was the only one. And that's it for whoever likes to get a Chanel. All the best. Don't feel bad if you ever buy something expensive like this. Just make sure you don't buy it from your credit card, but you buy it from your own money. And always... Always think as long as you buy things from your own money, you really deserve it and you, that you have you have worked for it hard. Yeah, so people, you know, splurge differently. Some people like to buy real estate. OK, it is essential, but it's that will not make you happy. I mean, that's an investment long term, like security, mental security kind of. But this, you know. It's a motivation for me it's a motivation to work harder to work more and to be more successful in in life so that's it <laughs> if you have any questions leave it in the comment section and until the next video take care and be happy